meant the mention in yesterday's video about the lyrics for Formation because they're easily the best part of the song, but that's not to say that they're good, that they're good at all. The end of the second verse is it's actually I think that's a chorus. I don't know, whatever. It's <laughs> the end of the second uh, paragraph is I got a hot sauce in my bag, swag. Formation was released in 2016. Beyonce was 35 at the time. She's acting like a, a soccer mom. Like, I feel like she would fit in perfectly in that show uh, Dead to Me. Feels like that. I mean, I hate to call 40 year olds, and I know she wasn't 40 at the time, but anyway, I hate to call 40 year olds old. But, like, that old. Uh, mother, not even mother, but old woman thing of being like that. Um, and that's not discrimination. That's just a, a. That's just a stereotype that isn't really discriminatory because if I were discriminating against four year old mums, then I wouldn't be watching that to me. Anyway, this school on Wednesday, the 2nd of February 2022. <laughs> Um, I finally got around to finishing a homework that I started in December, like something that was uploaded. <clears throat> um, at the start of yeah, at the start of December, and I've I've just finished it. Anyway, um, here it's three and four. We had that thing. Uh, the <clears throat> the gender uh, theory lecture <coughs> and I was expecting it to be bad but not as bad as it turned out to be all the all been deleted um uh right so we lined up and I thought it was just going to be year 13 14 but the year 11s were there as well and possibly year 12s I was like oh crap because it turns out the a person in year 11 that does film studies, uh, which I actually find quite funny, the fact that this student does it, is a guy that used to bully me. Oh, but he's year 11, you're year 13, why, why would you allow him to bully you? I, I, don't, I don't allow him to do it. I've, I've cut off all access that he has to me. Anyway. Um, I was like, oh, crap, it really, it's going to be impossible for me to uh, do this without him noticing that I still am at Strangford. I'm very sorry for saying the name of the school. <clears throat> I don't know if I've said it before, but I mean, I've been trying to avoid the name of the school and the other school. Um, and if I haven't said it until now, then that's actually impressive that it lasted until February. Anyway. Before we even start, I sit next to the other three guys that are in my class, and also the year 11 and 12 actually went over to the library to do their lesson. Um, so we get to me and my two friends sit down, and one of the, one of the friends is... Uh, and I use the term friend very loosely, because I know that one of them will go out, I'm not your friend! I hate you, but I'm just going to use that word because it's better than saying anything else. Um. Anyway, he is in my form class and he was showing the other guy who isn't in our form class something that's been happening on the form class. A student or a person had joined the classroom or like the, the form class cl Google classroom under the name Boom Bam. Um... And had been saying a bunch of stuff like, "What, yo, what up, teacher? Uh, I'm taller than you. I know some short women. You want me to hook you up and stuff like that." And one of the other ones was, uh, <clears throat> he had uploaded a photo of like a pizza, or like a, sorry, like a chippy menu, and said, "What should I get?" I responded, "A life," and the guy responded, "Uh." 
you you belong in a in an institute for silly bellies or something like that. Um <clears throat> I would read everything word for word, but they've all been deleted. Because uh a couple people reported it. Not me this time actually. Te well, technically not me. But I'll explain that at the end of the video. I was just, I think I've already said this, but I've ex I was expecting the last and to go worse. They go extremely bad, but it's actually worse than I expected, which is saying a lot. <clears throat> so, I'm at the back. I can't see for my life at the back. On the top of that, the Air 14s are, real, are all really tall. So I put on my glasses and tried to help, but I really don't like putting on my glasses. Anyway, um, going through, like, this person believes this total bonkers. This person believes this total bonkers. Uh, and this person believes this total bonkers. And uh, let's look at uh, the music video for, I think it's Montero by Lil Nas X. I saw him where he screws Lucifer. And, uh... He wanted to do that to piss off the Christians. I'm Christian. I wasn't offended. I actually told my granny about it. She's 80. Turns 81 this year. She wasn't offended by it. And that's saying something. So, well, that's X. You have failed as I predicted you would. <clears throat> I feel like you, you would have achieved more if you in interpreted the devil as more human-like. Like, you didn't need to have them as the more stereotypical representation to let people know that he's the devil, considering he was on a throne and he had, like, a, a foreign crown, or a horn crown. Um, and he was, you know, sitting on a throne in hell. That's obvious. I'm not saying that you, that you should have got, like, Tom Ellis or you ever play as Lucifer in Supernatural, but... You know, you actually would have saved money and the music video would have been better for it if you just had a regular human, no paint or anything like that. But whatever. <clears throat> and the media lesson following that was sort of continuing on from it. But the thing is that we covered work that he set for homework. And I had already done the homework, so I was sitting there doing nothing the entire class. But I, I, I was able to sort of hide it by pretending to write. Um, and I think he did notice me a couple times, but he didn't act like it. In general, <clears throat> um, with our form teacher, like a couple people for me and the other guys. And all three of us at the same time coincidentally said, Sir, have you seen the Google Classroom? No, I haven't. Why? What's going on? What did I, what did I need to kick out? And we basically just said, You'll know it when you see it. And uh, it's gone now. Before this whole segment ends, I was supposed to show this yesterday, I think, or two days ago, but I forgot. Um, This is an email that the head of. Not the head, but the. The study teacher uh, sent everyone. Like, uh, when you look at the email, it says that she sent it to. Let me count how many. 4,260,295 students. I know she didn't actually send it to that many people, but whatever. <clears throat> right, so it says common room. Common room was checked at the start of period 6. The attached photos are how it was left. There were students in the common room periods 3, 4, and 5. Milk was in the fridge. Wet floor should be dried up. Heaters should not be moved from 20 degrees. It helps if the door is closed to keep heat in. Wipes go in the bin, not the floor. Don't leave brush where someone, especially a blind person, could trip over. Empty the drop tray at the water heater. I'm going to show these photos. Um, I have absolutely no problem showing these photos because there's nothing within the photos that 
uh, breaches any sort of private information of anyone or any property. That's where you can get the face cam bigger. Yeah, as big as it goes. Right, so there's this. There's this. I mean, I'm surprised you can even see that through the through the mob exam. And I think, like, I didn't actually see the scene in real life, but I've only ever seen it through the photo. But, uh, how did the person who checked the common room see this? The only reason why I'm able to see it is because you took a clear photo of it. If I were looking at it in real life, I would never notice. And neither would most other people. But, let's... Oh wow, there's there's someone who <laughs> anyway. Then that's the same photo unless you're talking about whatever that is. Uh if you were talking if this photo is about whatever that is, then just take this photo. This photo is unnecessary. Each of these photos take up like three megabytes. You know that I don't have space in my iPad and you have to waste my time with this. You didn't have to do it through a bloody email. This means as of 1 to 7 p.m. Uh, that's okay. You can keep it. If you want to drop these songs so bad, just do it. And stop wasting our time. I mean, your songs are crap anyway. I know I've only ever heard the, the E-Girls or Random Life or whatever. But I'm going to assume it's all the same because of your... Your voice, and I'm not trying to make fun of your voice because I understand that it's a like a, a major health issue, but no one cares about your music. I can't play the video for this because it's copyrighted music, as far as I know. Tommy in it shocks fans by announcing he's homeless after a new apartment debacle. Either he's homeless, and that's true because. <coughs> People just don't like Tommy Anna. He's not funny. Like, he's one of the cringiest people I've ever. And the, you know, there's a lot of cringy people. Uh, or he's trying to pull, like, a big prank. It's like, aha, uh -huh, I'm not homeless. Like, when Dal Delphine posted that tweet saying, I'm in prison. Um, anyway. This isn't technically D DMs. Uh, I'm not going to put DMs in the title, but... It turns out that two days ago, my, my, my friend asked if I wanted to join a, a group chat for English, and I said yes, but she seen it and gave me no response. Turns out she actually added me on my second account because she's actually blocked my main account. This Twitter as of 6 past 7 p.m. I have no idea who any of the artists that are pulling their music from Spotify. Exactly. Like if I had if I was releasing music on Spotify and I threatened to, to leave them, um nothing would happen. They would lose no money. Like oh they lose the like how much does Spotify premium costs like nine pound a month or whatever. Oh no. It's not as if they're worth billions. Here, 50 books. Texas parents want banned from school libraries, court and public records. Request sent to nearly 100 school districts in Texas. And uh, from looking at these books, they also seem to be about race. Okay, there are a couple gender ones in there as well, but it's nothing, uh. As long as there's nothing based, I'm joking, I don't want any books banned except for, like. Stuff like, uh, what was that one that Marcus bought? The Anarchist Handbook? Look, you. This, it has like recipes for like bombs and all in there and you can buy it but if you buy it the government will put you on a watch list and you are if you're arrested for anything like that will increase your sentence no matter what you're arrested for like i think that instead of making it so that you can buy it but it will probably ruin your life just don't allow anyone to, to buy it <clears throat> 
It's okay, I've been told very many times that banning books is actually fine. National debt of the US has passed the 30 trillion mark. Guess who has a pet? On my way to ask my strong bro friends about smart trades only to completely ignore it and buy meme stocks. Microsoft probably a good bet after acquisition. Tech can be pretty good for a long and thank you I just bought 29 shares in Roblox. Marcus is really dumb and transphobic, but this was always blown out of proportion. And the stupidest got you. The dude literally screwed a fanboy in the ass. You can be misogynistic and still screw women. This is the same as saying, I'm not racist because I have a black friend. Right, I get that the argument for, you know, not being racist because you have a black friend. I get that it seems like a weak argument, but the thing is that it, it actually is a strong argument, if you can prove it. Like, if there are a bunch of photos of me hanging around with a black man, and I watch, like, movies with black people on it and all, and people accuse me of racism, then I could just show, well, I oh, come on. All these photos of all my black friends, I'm a big fan of, like, Rush Hour, etc. Uh, because a racist wouldn't do all that. And as for uh, this, well, I guess it depends on your uh, your viewpoint on whether or not fanboys, traps, trans people, etc. are, uh, is it straight or gay to have sex with them? This website is free. We were all young ones, calm down. Let's play a game of who subscribed after the trial question video and never saw it. Did you actually screw a, f a fanboy, Marcus? What's it to you? Marcus watches Letterkenny? Based. I don't know who that is. Letterkenny's amazing. Comedy is extremely unique. I can't even point another show. Like everyone who watches it for the way and though he makes the entire show, I'm going to look up what this is. Okay, I've looked it up and it doesn't seem interesting to me. So, you're saying you screwed a fanboy while you were calm, I guess you weren't starving on meat, at least. <laughs> now, hold on a minute, you don't touch your do anything to a dick at all? That's gay. Am I really blowing the dust off of these memes from my channel from 2016? If the Sam Hyde vs. Hassan Piker fight actually happens, can you fight Fosh as an opening act? Hassan is terrified of Sam, so it would never happen, but I would absolutely do this since it means a stack of cash stack of cash for charity. That absolutely is the reason why I would do it. No other reason, 100 percent I would do it to beat the crap out of Fosh. Marcus was a commie? Okay, here are all these new people that know nothing of Nazi Pog with the trap question and me not wanting this. Sorry, and me wanting to starve to death. Never forget. I was a handsome little communist. Another lore lesson. Post this pic years ago to show everyone how cringe I used to be and people started first. And so now and then when, people, when it gets posted, I retweet it to see if people do it again, like some of you are now. And then I revealed that I'm about 15 in that picture. Right, people call me like older than I look or younger than I look. Uh, but pff, he does not look 15 in that photo. <clears throat> and I'm not saying that I look older than I actually am because I, I don't believe that. I think, I, I think I'll look 17. But whatever. Oh, I forgot to read this. I've ever not looked tired? No. For example, it's currently 4 a.m., but it turns out babies grow teeth, and would you believe it's not a fun experience for them? I want to sleep. Just remember, for a baby, every bad thing that happens to them is literally the worst thing that's ever happened to them, and they react accordingly. This realization is actually extremely upsetting. 
Good morning. Now, that's not soy face. That's dad face. That's happy marriage face. So cute to watch you, your two children playing together. This is your protest movement? Yep. You claim the conservative media tried to discredit the movement by focusing on only a few bad actors? Yep. But those few bad actors don't represent the movement as a whole? Yep. So liberal media is doing the same thing with the Freedom Convoy? No. If one's a Nazi, they're all Nazis. I've never understood the concept of friends not roasting and ripping on each other. I see stuff like that all the time where people correct their friends to not be mean or to take it really seriously instead of just a joke among friends and it makes things really awkward. A group of friends who all monitor and correct each other's behaviour over some banter sounds toxic. If I walked in here wearing that full Hugo track suit you always see and absolutely no one roasted the crap out of me for it, I would assume everyone hated me. Oh, for God's sake, me too's back after four and a half years. So it's Oxford, CNN, uh, not trending.